the leaf has been the inspiration for the solar cell. Geckos have an amazing ability to, to, to hang on to surfaces and come, come off and get sticky and not sticky at the same time. We have peacocks roaming around here and the peacocks, especially the males, have the most remarkable colors. But of course, they're no, they don't have any pigment. They, it is all based on light refraction. That technology is being used right now in town by Qualcomm with the display and their new telephones so that outside you can have a nice bright display instead of uh, a dim one that, you, that most phones have. Biomimicry is innovation inspired by nature. And um, we here at the San Diego Zoo are the stewards of one of the world's largest collections of plants and animals. We take this role of stewardship very seriously and we offer something very great to the world. If through biomimicry, we would start to look at the plants and animals and uh, recognize the fact that they have, over millions of years, come up with design uh, solutions for their particular problems. We believe that we can become a living library for people to be inspired by the genius and the beauty that's out there and become a place that, uh, because of our mission and because of what we steward, that is a natural hub for all kinds of people to come together to solve these dilemmas that we've created for ourselves. We can work with San Diego State University to come together at the design table to work with companies to, uh, to solve some of these problems. And we have models like this in San Diego. Obviously, um, Connect is a great model of how this has happened in the biotech and wireless community. We would like to move this model forward and work with the universities in the area of biomimicry and biosustainability. So the idea of using our genius in a way that is in harmony and using our powers of observation to see what the plants and animals, the genius they have, and then make the connections to how we can start to develop these products and processes is going to create transformational change. And the really big thing here is that it's more than conservation. It's, it's sustainability.